Hey, uh, this is a really quick demo of ScreenFlow Pro. I get a lot of questions about how I make these videos. I've tried all kinds of software. I think this is the best. Um, it's really cool. This is only going to scratch the surface of what it can do, but it will give you an indication of how easy it is. Um, so, of course, this is a ScreenFlow Pro recording of how to use ScreenFlow Pro. So try not to let these multiple layers confuse you. <laughs> um, here's how it works. Um, so I just recorded the screen. It's got a very simple mode on how to do that. You just put it in to record the screen. It records everything that happens on your entire screen. And then it spits out this final result, which is a video track on top of an audio track. And you can scrub back and forth on this thing and uh, press uh, play at any time and it will start playing. And you can see um, uh, what's happening with it. And if you want to uh, edit it, um, you can just go in and cut it wherever you like. Um, there's some hotkeys to, to cut stuff, and uh, I can grab these two, and I can uh, move the scrub head here, and uh, like I could touch this, and then hit delete and cut it out, and then move these two things in. Um, that's not really what I want to do. Um, it's got another nice feature here. I could do, set. Um, snapping and it will snap right into spot so it, it comes out perfect with a really smooth edits okay uh, but it actually was not smooth that was just an example so let me hit this got multiple levels of undo so I've hit undo enough times so it'll get back to right where I was so it's got some other nice features you might have noticed um, like it's got these uh, call out type things like let's say I want to bring attention to what the mouse is doing okay and I want to start right here I can go here to the callout action, I can add a callout, okay? And how long do I want it to last? I want it to just go to the middle part till we click drag to share and then stop, okay? So I just want it to be this portion. Now if I press play, watch what happens. When you mouse over it, you'll see this thing says drag to share. Okay, that's cool. So that's a little bit dark, let's say. We can change all that around. I'm gonna decrease the opacity. I'm going to zoom in to that little area wherever the mouse is. So you see no matter where the mouse is, it will zoom. Um, and I'm going to increase the border so you can see a little bit more, okay? So now when I press play, share it around. When you mouse over it, you'll see this thing says drag to share. Just pick it up and then you can drop it. There you go, that's good. Actually, that was a little bit too much zoom. I'll throw people off. There you go. Uh, the other thing you can do is um, on top of the entire thing, I'll go here and I can say show the mouse pointer. Every time I click, I want the radar so that you'll see that whenever I click, you'll see a little uh, uh, blip appear. Whenever I let go, it'll explode. See that? There you go. All right. Now let's say that I wanted to zoom in on this part, okay? So I'm going to start typing in this area. Um, so I'm going to go to this. I'm going to add a video action. Inside the video action, I'm going to scale up closer. I reposition this thing. And there, watch. And uh, you can say whatever you like. Uh, there you go. And then once I'm all uh, done with that bit, um, I'll add another video action and zoom back out. stuff on my screen. Let's just a little bit more. There we go. And that's good. All right. So that's just a, a very quick primer for you. Uh, you get the idea. Uh, and you can export it into tons of formats. And uh, it's just as, as, as easy as can be. Very intuitive. And uh, there's a lot of power under the hood here. So I use it, um, I love it. I feel like I'm only using about 50% of it and that's more than enough for me. Okay, I hope that was helpful and uh, I hope you get a, a kick out of this if you ever do this sort of thing. All right, thanks.